Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. We have 5 to the power x plus 25 equals 0 and we're going to be solving for x values. So first of all I'd like to subtract 25 from both sides and write this as 5 to the power x equals negative 25. Knowing that 25 is 5 squared do you think x equals 2 is going to work? It unfortunately isn't because 5 squared is equal to 25, not negative 25. So x equals 2 does not work. How about negative 2? Well, negative 2 is just going to give you the reciprocal. It's not going to work. So if only we could just insert a negative in front of our number, right? So here's what we're going to do. x, no power of 5 is actually going to equal a negative number. So, so that means x is not a real number. So x is not real. So we're going to be looking for complex solutions. So we're going to complexify this. Let's write negative 25 in polar form. To be able to write that, we're going to do a couple things. First, notice that negative 25 is going to appear on the real axis on the negative side. And if you call it z, then its modulus or absolute value is going to be 25. And the theta, the angle that it makes, right? is going to be pi radians, so theta would be pi, or 180 degrees. So knowing those two things, we can basically write z as absolute value of z times e to the power i theta, or r times e to the power i theta, same thing. Uh, so we can go ahead and write negative 25 as follows. The absolute value of negative 25 is positive 25, and then e to the power i times pi which is our angle or argument. But pi is not the only angle for which this is true. There are infinitely many, many values because think about it. You can just add 2 pi to this, right? And it's going to bring you to the same point. So pi is going to work. Pi plus 2 pi, pi plus 4 pi. In other words, pi plus any multiple of 2 pi is going to work. So instead of using a pi there, let's go ahead and add multiples of 2 pi to this, which can be written as 2 pi n, and then multiply this whole thing by i. So in this case, n is an integer, right? So n is an element of the special z symbol. Okay, so I just uh, heard uh, from my viewers that it means zollen, uh, which means, I think, numbers in German, right? Okay, great. So we can go ahead and rearrange this a little bit and write it as 25 times e to the power. Now, 2n plus 1, uh, you can factor out a pi and write this as an odd multiple of pi i, because odd multiples of pi is basically going to bring you to the same point, pi 3, pi 5, pi 7 pi, they're all equivalent to pi radians. All right? So this is how we can write negative 25 in polar form, and this is what we're going to substitute into our equation. Remember, I said that x equals 2 does not work, but there is something interesting about it, which we'll talk about at the end. Okay, now, what do you do with the 5? We have 5 to the x equals negative 25, so I complexified negative 25, but what about 5? Well, we can quickly write 5 as a power of e. Consider, consider the identity a equals e to the power ln a, ln being the natural logarithm. So we can basically write the 5 to the power x as e to the power ln 5 to the power x, can't we? Now this x is uh, going to move to the front and we're going to get e to the power x ln 5 equals negative 25. But remember we replace 25 with, I mean negative 25 with this polar form 25 times e to the power 2n plus 1 pi i. So this polar number or polar form has two pieces. One of them is the modulus, the real part, which is multiplied by a power of e, which basically uh, produces the real and imaginary parts of this number after you take out the modulus. Okay, so what do you do next? Since we have the e's, we can go ahead and natural log both sides, right? Let's go ahead and move this a little bit to the right. Uh, I guess it's going to work, right? Hopefully. And then we might have to just erase a little bit. Okay. 
then plus 1, and then pi i. Cool, cool. Now we're going to go ahead and ln both sides. I'm going to use natural log here and natural log here. And now I'm going to be getting the power rule again. Let's go ahead and move this to the front and ln e is equal to 1. So this gives us x ln 5 equals. Now how do you ln a product? Remember, ln a times b can be written as ln a plus ln b, right? So we can write the ln of a product as the sum of two lns. So this can be written as ln 25 plus ln e to the power 2n plus 1 pi i. But again, ln e is equal to 1. So if you go ahead and move this power to the front, that's what you're going to get because this is going to be 1. So we get the following from here, x ln 5 equals ln 25 plus 2n plus 1 pi i. Great. We're almost there, but we just need to solve for x, don't we? So let's go ahead and divide everything by ln 5 and then take a look at this expression one more time. So if you divide everything by ln 5, you're going to get ln 25 over ln 5, which we'll simplify next. And then here, I can kind of divide 2n plus 1 pi by ln 5 and then separate the i. So this kind of looks like a plus bi, right? Remember that name, a plus bi. Great, so this is going to be the answer, but let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. How do you simplify ln 25? Well, ln 25 is ln 5 squared, so we can write it as 2 ln 5, again using properties of logarithms, so properties are very important. We've been using them all the time, right? So we can now write this ln 25 as 2 ln 5 divided by ln 5, and then the imaginary part is going to be 2n plus 1 pi, over ln 5, which is a real number, times the imaginary unit i. But of course, ln 5 is going to cancel out, leaving us with something super duper simple. And now is the time to talk about 2 again, right? So this is what I was talking about. At the beginning, remember, I said that x equals 2 does not work, because think about it. 5 to the x equals negative 25. You can replace x with 2, but it's just going to give you a positive 25. If only I could just insert a negative. Yes. So even though x equals 2 does not work, it is actually the real part of the answer. But think about it. If we could make n equal to negative 1 half, then if it was allowed, then x equals 2 would work. But unfortunately, negative 1 half is not an integer, so we're not allowed to take that value. But just hypothetically speaking, that would be real cool. Anyways. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.